Hey, it's Wednesday. Um, really good sleep last night. Hammock's working out great. Uh, I know people rave about it on YouTube and things like that, but uh, they do, they're as advertised, they are better sleeping. Um, one problem though with the hammock is it's hard getting like out of them at night and things like that. So one of my buddies uh, informed me of a special jug that you can use. Um, it's called a pee jug. Um, this is my pee jug um, that I use as you get older. You have to get up and you have to go more um, during the night. And uh, having a pee jug uh, makes that process a lot easier than having to get out of the hammock and things like that. So I found that that works out really, really, really well. Uh, today uh, is going to be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. So I uh, got a lot more energy today. So um, hopefully if fishing uh, cooperates, get some more brook trout, maybe find some lake trout. Really looking forward to, uh, to fishing today. So it's just the uh, same spot yesterday. I uh, working my way down the shoreline and uh, got another brook trout. This is a really little bigger one, but uh, yeah, a nice fish, quality fish. So. These things are, if you've never had a brook trout, I mean they're, or speckled trout, they're really, really good eating. So probably one of the best tasting fish that you can get. And you can see they have those really cool uh, spots on them, uh, like a red and like a purplish. Uh, so really nice looking fish. Um, this is what I came here for was to catch these guys. Um, so it's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool fish. So day is off to a good start. Uh, wind's blowing, um, so I just kind of, Blew me down. I'm just casting little Cleos. That's all I'm doing right now. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to get him on a fly rod here. So we'll see. Pretty cool though. This is how pretty this lake is. I mean, it's beautiful. And then right there is that cabin I went to yesterday. You can see it over there, tucked away in the island. But this is just pure beauty. Another brook trout. Such a pretty fish. <laughs> Alright, today was a pretty good day. I got uh, two brook trout. Uh, I hooked a lot. I must have hooked like six fish. I just couldn't get them in. Um, but uh, I got two to eat. One really nice one. Um, that was the first fish that I caught this morning. Um, so uh, I did get a pan. Um, I went to that cabin um, and there was some pans there. Um, so I took a pan. That's a heavier one. I wouldn't take it uh, normally with me. Um, so I just got one from there. I'll take it back to that cabin um, that I showed you yesterday. I'm going to cook a little bit different today. Uh, I left the skin on the brook trout. And then I'm just going to do skin side down um, with the lard. And then I put a little Tex Mix on the top of them. Um, and we'll see how they turn out. I'm going to be able to do about three minutes on the side. And you'll see like um, with brook trout, like it becomes like, or any trout, like it will become white. Like you'll start seeing like a white protein, um, like albumin almost like with eggs. And that's when you know that they're done uh, with the skin method. So we'll see how this turns out. So I'm just going to add the little bit of Tex Mix. Then I'll do that like three minutes on that side and then I'll flip it over just for a few minutes, like a maybe a minute. And then uh, it should come out really good. <laughs> and 
and then there's the finished product really good so two brook trout's plenty for me to eat tonight so yeah this came out really good Good morning, it is Thursday, AKA Baby Friday. Uh, today is gonna be a really bright, sunshiny day. Um, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna fish that whole shoreline all the way across there. I'm gonna go around that point and then there's another lake down there that's called uh, Mud Lake. And uh, I'm gonna fish Mud Lake today uh, for brook trout. Tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna go for lake trout. I'm gonna pack up my camp. I'm gonna head to the upper portion of the lake. I'm fishing the whole lower portion of Old Woman. And then tomorrow I'm going to work my way back um, to where I did that 100 meter portage. And I'm going to set up camp there. I'm going to fish that Pecura Lake uh, as well for brook trout. Uh, but I'll lake trout fish on the way, on the way, uh, on the way there. Um, it's just going to make the portage easier on Saturday. Uh, you have to give yourself two or three days um, to recover from the portages um, that you have to do to get down to here. So uh, this is kind of a, this is a really remote lake. Uh, when I talked to the lady at the Agua Bay Visitor Center, um, she said uh, that they have less than 100 people um, that probably go to this lake every year. So pretty cool. Um, there's only uh, four campsites uh, on Old One, four or five campsites on Old Woman. Um, pretty good sized lake. Uh, like I said, it's got good uh, brook trout and, uh, and lake trout fishing. Um, still trying to figure them out, but uh, yesterday, I did pretty good for the brook trout. Uh, I got two, but I, I hooked a lot of fish, um, or saw a lot of fish coming up to my uh, to my lure. Um, I kind of messed around a little bit yesterday with fly fishing, and uh, I wasn't that successful at it um, with the wind and things like that. But we'll see how today goes. Um, looks like it's going to be a good day, so pretty exciting. Another little brook trout. It's a good one. Little guy, coughing up a minnow. That's a good little guy right there. Let him go. Pretty fish. Pretty awesome. So, uh, so this is the uh, portage into uh, Mud Lake. Take a look at this beaver dam. That thing is pretty, uh, pretty insane. I just have to go up over this little hill here, um, and then I'll show you the other side of the lake. This is uh, this is Mud Lake. It's not real rocky. It's kind of shallow all around, but it's supposed to have brook trout in it. So I'll go around Mud Lake, and then over there is the portage to a. Uh, I forget where that that's going to lead you to. I think that goes to Black Lake. I'm not going to go to Black Lake. I'm just going to fish this today, see what I can do, and then I'll go back to Old Woman. So if you can see down the way, there's a, a moose I'm on Mud Lake. Pretty cool. And she's got a little one right behind her. I spent about uh, two hours fishing that mud lake. I uh, wasn't that impressed as far as fish are concerned. I uh, didn't really see any signs of life um, there. There's no rocks or anything um, in that lake. Um, it was cool though that I did get to see the, the, the moose and her, uh, her calf. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to try back um, on Old Woman. Um, I should have just stayed here today. I'm going to do some lake trout and then I'm going to go up to uh, Fire Island. Um, and then I'm going to try some brook trout up there along that shoreline. Uh, try to salvage the day. I got one brook trout so far. Um, like to get two, um, so I can have a good meal uh, to eat tonight. So, but it's a beautiful day today. Black flies are starting to come out. A 
another brook trout. Uh, hooked a lot today, but uh, man, I struggled to get them in the boat, but this is another standard size one for this lake, so pretty cool. So the uh, next packs of fish I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do a pan fry again. Uh, one key thing with the fire is, you just have to do a little twig fire um, when you're frying. It doesn't have to be a giant fire. So it doesn't take that long for the lard. Um, and then I'm just going to uh, uh, take them and I'm gonna put them in the, uh, I got a little Cajun mix here. Uh, fish crisp, it's a Cajun mix um, is what I'm gonna do. I like pan frying brook trout, I think they taste the best that way. So we'll see how they turn out. And here's the finished product. Cajun brook trout. Tastes really good. So I uh, made it down to the uh, other end of the lake, the southern end, and uh, this is like where it drains out. So I'm gonna take my canoe and I'm just gonna fish this little area down here. Um, I'm using the fly rod now, so pretty cool. Um, but I did manage to get this guy on the fly rod. Look how pretty this fish is. I mean, look at that orange hue on him. This is a really pretty brookie. I mean, the colors on that thing are awesome. But uh, yeah, this is my first one I was able to get on the uh, on the fly rod, so that's pretty uh, pretty awesome. I'm just gonna canoe down through here a little bit. Um, there's like there's like this uh, it's like this little pond area, and then there's another pond area down there um, that I'm gonna go through. Um, but you just kind of have to go through uh, this little rapidy area to get there. But yeah, really pretty fish. That's an awesome that's an awesome speckled trout. So. Really happy. Another nice one on the uh, fly rod again, but uh, really pretty, pretty down here. Gonna keep going at it. Like to get another one. So awesome, awesome, awesome fish. Another nice one. Just look at that. That orange belly is awesome on these fish. And then there's little the the red and the like bluish purple hue. Just a pretty, 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 pretty fish. So awesome, awesome place. Old Woman Lake, awesome. Another nice one. Really good fish, colorful. I'm gonna move down, like I just moved down to a, uh, another pool and uh, I'm gonna let this one go. I got enough to eat, so, uh, but yeah. So I just moved down. This is that second set of ponds now um, that I'm fishing. I'm just fishing um, right into this Pretty cool spot. Another nice one. I'm gonna let him go too. Good fish. Same thing. Just using a crystal bugger. So, but yeah, that's a good, that's a quality uh, spec right there. Good looking fish. Let me see. Another brookie, really pretty. Same run, same thing. I'm gonna spend a lot more time here. I'm gonna keep moving down. I don't know how many more little ponds there are, but pretty cool. Same thing. I'll let him go here. Come here, buddy. Nice one. I'm gonna keep fishing it and then uh, push down, but yeah, this is one of those epic days, so pretty cool to experience. This is what I was looking for. All right, this is the last one. I got a lot more. Last one. Um, I caught a lot more, but uh, I can't document them all. Uh, I gotta start heading back, so 
that's the last rook trout awesome so i could have kept going down further it's just uh i'm kind of running out of time so um, but there's like another pool that opened up um i got like four or five more so um this is that day that that awesome day i'm glad i brought the fly rod so just uh trolling on the way back and i picked up this guy it's a lake trout little lake trout uh i'm gonna let him go because brook trout tastes better than lake trout that's a little guy though it's probably the smallest lake trout i've ever caught that's a tiny 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 guy oops uh, lake trout come here you can see him though oops that's just a tiny tiny lake trout they got cool little worm like markings on them uh, but yeah with the lake trout I'm just doing a uh, just a three-way swivel so I got the three-way swivel um, and then I got um, just a spoon on the back I'm using just a one ounce weight so it's just a three-way with a one ounce weight um, so all right it is the last brook trout fish fry of the trip Probably my last brook trout of the year. I don't have any other brook trout trips coming up, so amazing fish to eat. Um, so can't find it in the store. You got to catch them. And we'll see how they turn out. And there is the finished product, really good. So, nice fillets. It's gonna be an awesome meal. So I'm pretty excited about it. There's the seagull chowing away at the remains. I've hooked him up this trip. He won't admit to it. I wouldn't even say thank you. All right, it's uh, four o'clock on Friday and I'm just gonna head back down to that other end of the lake and I'm gonna camp out on that Pekir uh, campsite. So I uh, got everything all packed up. I'm ready to go. And lucky for me, the wind is blowing the direction I need to blow. Um, so this so far is a good decision. That over there is Fire Island. And then I am traveling down south there. Um, no, that'd be north to Pekir Lake. That's the island I stayed at, Burnt Island. Got my camp set up, um, so I just put it right across the the portage where people would come through. But I haven't seen any people, and I don't think any people are coming through at five o'clock uh, at night. It's really buggy here, which is what I was expecting. So this gives me the best wind. Uh, I don't like this campsite that much. Uh, so number one, it's on the mainland. I tend to like to stay on islands and things like that. So and it's really buggy. And there's like no rocks. So thank goodness I'm only staying here one night. Uh, so I got to do a bear hang. Um, and then uh, I'm going to eat one of my, my last meals at uh, chicken fried rice at Backcountry Pantry. So I get a lot of more calories in my system uh, for tomorrow. I still got to make some water um, is what I have to do. And then uh, 
should be good to go for the evening. If anything exciting happens, I will let you know. This is uh, Picure Lake. Caught two little tiny brook trout, nothing big, but it's a pretty lake. It's real clear. All right, I have made it through all of the portages. Um, wasn't as bad as the way in because I didn't have as much food weight, um, but the bugs were a lot worse. Uh, just a good, like a relieving, awesome feeling. Um, it's 9.30 now, so that took me six, seven, eight, nine. Took me three and a half hours uh, to get through those. Uh, I'm gonna get some water and then I'm gonna head through Mirakoi uh, Lake over the Beaver Dam to wetlands and then through uh, Minjin Lake and then uh, back to my Jeep. So, awesome experience. Uh, just got a little bit more to go. Wind's not too bad. Maybe I'll come in contact with my first human being. So I haven't seen a human being in seven days. So um, I saw one on the way in. Um, they were uh, putting their boats in, uh, taking their boats out, I'm sorry, their canoes out. So that is it, I finished it. So uh, seven days, did it. Uh, amazing experience. Jeep saw loaded, ready to go back home. I went all the way from here, all the way down through the Miracoy, Miramoki uh, wetlands. We're right here, came all the way down. This is that long portage. This is that Picure Lake that I went into right here. This is Ghost Lake right here. This is Picure Lake. Um, Ghost Lake, I did hook a, a brook trout in. Um, little guy, but uh, didn't get him in. Uh, Picure is where I caught two little brook trout last night. Um, and then this is Old Woman that I fished and then I went down into Mud Lake. Pretty awesome experience to have.